Hey there, welcome to you Shopify speed optimization free course and in this class I am going to share more about Shopify speed optimization process so that you can learn more deeply and take more action to make your Shopify store super fast. So let's get started. In the previous class we have learned about unoptimized themes and we also learned about uh, using too many apps and uh, unoptimized images. So we have learned everything relevant unoptimized images or how to make optimized image, how to use app for your store, how to use optimized theme. Okay, so today we are going to learn more about that, especially we are going to know more reason and more solution about speed up our Shopify store and we already know about that why our Shopify store becomes slow from these reasons we know that third party service also a reason to become slow your website so let's know more about what is third party services here is the list of third party tools and service most commonly used in website and here is the list analytics partner like Google analytics or uh, others analytics tools then social networking button widget and sometimes we use social networking button like share uh, follow or subscribe something like that and this make our website slow and another reason will be use chat service provider most commonly we want to provide best customer service and we want to add customer chat service on our store but when we think seriously need a customer chat service in our store then we have to consider the best and fast lightweight service provider or tools so that it does not take any effect on our Shopify store speed okay and another reason is payment service provider as we run e-commerce business with Shopify and and if we use any custom payment service providers kept in our store that will make slow down our website so we should always keep the minimum as our need so we should always keep the minimum payment service provider as our need or based on our business so we should not add uh, too much payment service provider skip too much uh, share button or social networking button too much analytics code from multiple third party website and another reason is that marketing service provider and sometimes in our marketing purpose we have to add many skip on our store but we also consider about that we are not going to use any extra skip or code in our store that will make our website slow so we have to consider about that also and finally advertising partner and sometimes people want to advertise on their store on their website it's very rare in Shopify but if you really want to add uh, any advertisement option on your store then you have to consider that it does take any slowdown effect on your store or not so i hope you understand everything but in general and my recommendation is that you should contact with any shopify expert before start any shopify online store or, or launch your shopify store because taking a consultation service by zoom by live zoom meeting you will get a lot of solution totally free and you can save a lot of money it's maybe 500 to 1000 dollar saving process for you because without consultation or without proper guideline you may use too much service for your store and you can spend a lot of money on just building your website and totally you will get a very slow website for your business and you become an upset so you should contact any expert like me or with anyone as you like and get a total honest suggestion for your business so i hope you understand everything and thank you for continue my all the classes and finally thank you for your time to watch this video if you think this video is helpful then click on the like button and subscribe to my channel and if you need any service relevant shopify wordpress seo even social media marketing then you can contact with me i working as a shopify expert and i have a small team they are working as social media marketing especially create video content for your shopify online store using your product image so see you there have a nice day bye bye